At the moment the house is looking a little bit bare, so I've been out shopping for some hmm, interesting uh, Christmas decorations that I could find in the 100 yen shop. Also known as the pound shop in the UK or the dollar shop in America. So as you can imagine, these items are a little bit um, questionable. But let's get started. So when decorating, first thing we need is a Christmas tree. And that's exactly what we have. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Now, I have a few questions about this beautiful piece. Uh, question number one is, why is it purple? Um, I don't really know what a purple tree has to do with Christmas, but um, there you are. It does have some bells on, a little bit Christmassy. Um, question number two is, why is it shaped like a moon? Now, I assure you, I have not changed this, and this is exactly as it was sold. I suppose I could... No, no, if I bend that, it's going to snap. So it is a moon shaped purple tree and best of all oh, lovely why does it have a rose hmm. in a way i suppose it kind of looks a bit like a hand grasping the rose hmm. so romantic um hmm oh well there you are i can feel the christmas spirit already but now we have the tree we need some Christmas lighting, and that is why, doo -doo. yes, we have the Christmas candle. Oh, look at that little snowman in some gel, happy little look on his face. And I'll be honest, it's quite nicely painted there with a little bit of sand at the bottom just to give it a bit of perspective. Yeah, that's quite nice. I like that candle. However, Candle number two. Now, as you can see from behind, this is old Santa Claus trapped in the same translucent gel. Now, let's just remind ourselves of Snowman. Snowman, happy little face. Hey, cheerful, cheerful. Let's take a look at what we have here. Dun 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 Oh my god. What have they done to him? Hmm. Now you can sense fear in those eyes. So much fear, in fact, that his moustache has completely disappeared. Yes, he knows his only fate is to die through suffocation, in this, or die from heat from that. Hmm. Every child's dream. Well, there you go. Let's decorate our lovely purple rose tree with our happy snowman and our ominous looking Father Christmas. But now we have the lighting and the tree, we need some food. So let's start with this one. Here we go. Happy face. Oh, look at that. Very Christmassy. First one is very Christmassy, although I'm not sure why the hat is pink and not purple. However, Yes. This is in fact a China Christmas cake depicting good old Saint Nick. In other words, this is a cake made from the head of Santa Claus. Hmm. Not particularly the most appetizing of cakes, I will say, uh, but oddly it's very well painted considering what it is. Um, although, yeah. It is, um, very dirty. I'm guessing they've been on the shelves for quite a long time. But however, if eating the head of uh, Santa isn't your thing, you do have an option. And yes, <laughs> you can eat the decapitated head of Rudolph, also baked into a cake. However, this time it's a star shape rather than a sphere. But yes. Isn't that wonderful? Again, quite nice paint, but um, very dirty. Hmm. Lights, tree, food. Let's get a little bit more food, shall we? Ah, this is my personal favorite. Here you are. Look at his face there. 
possibly the best of the faces so far. There you go. Proper red, big beard, mustache. But we ask ourselves, we imagine Santa Claus delivering presents, bringing joy and happiness. We do not imagine him doing this to a very large biscuit. Now, uh, think what we will, but in my mind, that is not a suitable piece for children. Sitting atop a very large chocolate cream biscuit and, um, as I say, enjoying a triple decker strawberry cream biscuit. Enjoying it greatly. Yes. Disturbing imagery there. But look at that, our lovely Christmas decorations with, well, very limited actual red, to be honest. We've got the pink circle cake, as well as the red one here, star, and the purple tree. Hmm. Only one thing left, and that is the actual food. Yay! It's the Santa Claus lolly. Now, to be honest, the, the thing itself doesn't look too bad. However, I do question what is happening to his mouth. <sighs> also, he has a very, very small sack. He's not going to be delivering many presents with that. But yes, what is happening to his mouth? And I thought maybe, maybe, maybe this is just a mistake on one of the products. No, no. He does, in fact, have a very pointy mouth, almost a take, a snake tongue, if I get it correct. Yes, this is Santa Claus or Father Christmas with the tongue of a snake. Now, I think it's only fair, seeing as these are actual real food, I am gonna have to try and eat one of them. Hmm. Okay, let's open it up, find out what this thing tastes of. There he is. Let's bite the head off, I think. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Crunchy. Flavorings. Colorings. And very strong fake strawberry sugar. Mmm. Well, if you ever wanted to imagine you're eating Father Christmas, um, Imagine what some of his hobbies are during his free time or simply watch him die slowly in a candle Definitely go to the hundred yen shop to buy some of these marvelous decorations and you can even eat a real one, too Yay! Happy Christmas!